Hello and welcome to today's live jam and lesson. We are working on Let It Be by The Beatles. As I was kind of looking through the suggestions you've made in the last week through our live streams, um, this one really spoke to me today and we can have a lot of fun with it. So I hope that you like it. I'm wondering if this is live. Okay, yes, we are live. Um, okay, thank you. Okay, hi Jenny, hi. Hi, okay, so please start copying the board as we um, wait for our students to come in. Hi, hi, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for the likes. Thank you, Carissa. Um, I forgot to write the title of the song. Let me put it down here. I think it's fitting of the day. <laughs> By the way, have you guys seen the principles? Um, is the link in the description box right now? I tried to change it so that the link to the principle is there. And uh, I'll work on adding a principle every single day. Hi. Okay, so today I'm using the Lava Ukulele. This was specifically engineered to have this type of body to maximize the sound. Yes, I feel better today, thank you. And then um, this has like strings that were made for it. That's a pretty wide neck in my opinion. And then um, we, it comes with effects uh, here, reverb and chorus volume. And it turns on with a little switch on the outside and then you have a green light that tells you it's on. And let me turn on the effects, okay? Okay, so that's kind of what it sounds like. And then without the effects. And if you wanted to, you could also plug it into an app. So it kind of has everything. So right now you're copying um, this board. Both F major seven and F six are on the fifth fret, by the way. Both are on the fifth fret. Um, that's also on the fifth fret. Okay, so we've started the previous lessons with a little bit of ear training. So I'm gonna go to the back of the piano. Go ahead and Continue copying this board while we do a little bit of ear training. And hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Okay. I'm going to play four notes. Um, tell me what they are. So the notes will either be in A, or an E. A or E. Get it in your head. Okay, here's the pattern. Please write it down. training while you copy the board um, for today's lesson and so I'm saying either A's or E's this is an A this is an E and you write down what the pattern is okay I see the right answer yay awesome okay same two notes but this time I'm gonna play eight this one's going to be a little bit more challenging, but still the same two notes. We have A and we have E. A and E. Here's the pattern. music major in college. 
college, we would do this. So you guys are getting like a little bit of music theory lesson here. This was how they would start the lesson. Okay, now we're gonna do 12 notes. 12 notes, same two, A and E. This is A, this is E. Okay, but this is gonna be 12 of them. four notes to make it easier back to down to four so this is a again and this is e again do this I'll go back to doing that as well giving you two notes and then just making the exercise more difficult based on those notes very nice job okay perfect um so today we're doing let it be um let me play hi Katie let me play a little bit of it for you if your hands are free please give this video a thumbs up um the link to the principle is down below get your drinks ready today i have kombucha i think i'm feeling purple it's like purple kombucha purple you mm. okay there is a little bit of a finger picking pattern here so um when we hold an f chord look up please we're gonna pick on the index finger where the index finger is and we're gonna open almost like a D minor shape and then lift the index finger and then where the ring finger is and then lift the ring finger look up again just don't try it yet just look up okay and uh, you're asking what are we doing we're doing let it be um, by the Beatles um Everything is gonna have two beats, two, 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 except F major to F6. Each one has one. And I added a little tack, a little dash between them to help you with that. So let me play the first line. Sorry, by the way, if it's a little loud upstairs, my neighbors are moving out. I have a finger for each one. No, Liam, you're just on time. We're getting started. 
I have an, a finger on each string and I'm picking everything except the index finger. So go to C chord and pick everything except the index finger. Let's do that four times together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. So I'm picking everything but the index finger. Look up. And I think I have to take like four drinks. Every time I say look up, we take a drink. Let's do it again. One, two, ready, pick with me. Okay, now we're going to do that and then the index alone. So look up. Okay, so that's two beats. One, two, wait, is it? No, it's one and two, and one and two, and, and then we go to the next chord. One and two, and, and then the next chord. One and two, and, and then one and two, and. So look up, one and two, and. And every time I say look up, we hydrate, and I've said it like six times already. So go ahead and take a few drinks. There's a fly here annoying me. So go ahead and practice that picking pattern. I'm gonna take care of this, and I'll be right back. Let's see if I can catch it with a napkin and release it. Hold on. Wish me luck, you guys. Wish me luck. Ah, I got it! Oh. <laughs> okay, that was me. <laughs> I didn't want to kill the fly, so I got a wipe and I grabbed it and then just feeling its little body. <sighs> okay, hi everyone. <laughs> so we're doing Let It Be by the Beatles. Let me play a little bit of it for you and then we'll do it together. Is that a bench under the keyboard? So it's really pretty. It's a little uh, ottoman, but it's an, it's an elephant. Yeah, I got super grossed out. Hi Moon. shouting okay here we go one two ready C G let's go slower yeah one and two and C and go now C G A minor F Line and this second line. Hi, Ting. Oh, <laughs> hi, 
Tiniana. So we're doing this right here. Now look up real quick. I'm gonna teach you the little trick I'm do using for F major seven. On F major seven, I'm playing it this way. And then I'm adding all four fingers for the F6. And I think I'm just playing one on that F6. Now let's say this is way too crazy challenging for you, then just do an F. And F works, okay? Is this an electric ukulele? This is a self-amplified ukulele, so it has effects built in. It's not plugged in. Frida, okay, this is so hard. Tell me what's hard, okay? Okay, so um, can you, if this is really hard, and thank you, thank you for the thumbs up. If this is really hard to do the picking, then give me two strums each one. One, two, one, two, one, two, and give me an F here. And then one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Okay? So do the strumming or do the picking. Thank you guys for letting me know it's challenging because that like lets me know I need to change something and I'm more than happy to adapt it. What's the picking, Christine? Okay, so we're doing, um, we're adding one finger on each string and I'm picking everything except the index. So look, and then the index. One and two and, okay? One and two and for each chord. So it's one and two and, next chord. One and two and, next chord, A minor. One and two and. And now be careful because F major seven only gets one beat and F six only gets one beat. Ah, thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much for the tip. Okay, so if you're new today, every time that we get a tip, I put on my pink wig. That's a little tradition we started here. Here we go. I'm writing a song right now. Oh, so awesome. Now's the best time to write. Ah, here we go. Yeah, baby. Now it's a party. <laughs> Okay, so um, you can definitely, um, so ordinary F works here, yes. So let me say F, ah, F is okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we just got a really nice tip, thank you. Okay, so let's try it. Either two strums each or the picking pattern. Let's go slowly. One, two, one, two, begin. Go. One, G. Right there. So 
So it was, it's A minor C F C C. Actually, when I saw your video, my mom asked me to buy a ukulele so I can probably do Oh, that's so cool! Shout out to your mom. Hi, Jessica. We are doing Let It Be. We're on the chorus right now. Give each chord two beats, okay? One, two, ready. Happy. Public. Everybody let me know where you are watching from and please give this video a thumbs up so that this will be recommended to more of our friends who are online right now. Um, you're having a hard time singing and strumming. Okay, so what I recommend is that you print out the lyrics and hi Daniel and when you write the chords write them over the word that they're happening. So for example, the lyrics on the chorus let it be is on A minor, the next is B on C, and the next B is on F, and the next B is on that C. So I'm gonna sing, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. So now that I know, oh, every time I have a, the word B, I need to play a chord, and I'm just gonna do a simple down strum there. That's how you get started with it. Let let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Now, if you're thinking, well, okay, that's easy, like I want to really be strumming, then you know how when you're listening to a song or singing it, you're tapping along to it? Well, pretend that you're tapping, but what you're actually doing is strumming. Let it be, let it be. But the first step really is in writing the chord switch on top of the word. And if you go to ultimateguitartabs.com, I think that website has the more popular songs. It's a pretty good, it's pretty accurate, but I would still do it myself because it's like a crowdfunding, not crowdfunding, but the chords and lyrics that are made from the people. Hi from Norway. Did you change from F minor 7, F6 to an F? I'm sorry. So you can do this or you can do an F. Because the F major 7 to F6 is just one um, beat each. But look at how beautiful that sounds. Listen. It's so beautiful. So if you can do this, I recommend it. If you're just starting off and this is already way too challenging, no worries. Do an F instead. You'll do it for two beats. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Uh, one of these is an intro and then we go back into it. Uh, how can I plug faster? Uh, try using a metronome, Google metronome, and speed it up it, like gradually. Okay, so let's do this. Two beats each chord. That's the intro. Thank you, Javier. Here we go. Oh, one, two, ready, breathe. Smile. Line two. you did on that one let me know if you're struggling with anything specific before we move on I want to make sure that you feel comfortable with it or if you don't 
that I've answered a question that you may have. Did somebody else give a tip? Did I miss it? If I did, I'm sorry and thank you. I'll leave the wig on. Okay, so let's try this again. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be reading the comments to make sure that I'm answering any questions that you have. Because this is what I love about the live stream is that you can tell me like, I need help with this and I can answer. You play two times verse and three times chorus. Um, right now, we do um, three times this part because one is an intro and then the verse is two times. And for the chorus, just once. Good question. Okay, I mean, you're saying you're a beginner and the double strum is good for you? Awesome, cool. I'm playing a ukulele. Oh. Tanoshi, okay. Could you tell me something about the genius way of how the Beatles chords always descending, ascending seven notes? <laughs> I didn't finish reading the comment before it went away. I love using Beatles songs because there's always something you, like you can add. For example, you can do make this a four chord song, right? C, G, A minor, and F. You could, but adding those little things. Hi, Erin just make it so beautiful. So um, I definitely recommend studying the Beatles and using it to learn something new. You like the F major seven to the six? This is the best ukulele lesson because we are not there with you. You're teaching us as we're there with you. Yes, yes, you guys are here with me. All right, here we go. You can do it. One, two, uh, if you want to strum more than just a double strum, what pattern would work? That pattern would work. That would be a down, 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 down. Down, 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 down up. For each one would work. Let's all try that for fun. Down, 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 up. And the way I make this one heavier is just I raise the hand up a little bit more. Close, close. Hi, David. How are you feeling today? Down, down, heavy. And then uh, really small. Down, up. Down, 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 up, down. for a strumming pattern that wasn't just the downs. That one sounds really pretty actually. So good question. Okay, so let's do this and let's go into the song. So this is an intro and then we'll do it two times for the verse. One, two, choose your pattern. One, two, you got this. Go. One, two, to move on to the chorus. Let me know how you feel right now. If you're not ready, we can do it again. If you're ready, we can move on. Hi, Eloisa. Welcome. Uh, mm, mm, mm. It's making me something. I can't understand that comment. Only on C last time. Yeah, if you want to end like with a beautiful little Thing, you can strum just once at the end there. Good question. That's mostly a style choice. I'm ready. You're ready to move on. Okay, perfect. So let's go to the chorus. Cosette, hi, welcome. Um, okay, so we're doing the chorus now, two beats each. You can do down, down, or you can do down, down. Okay, so definitely choose. Yes, this is let it be. 
or if you're more advanced and then give me the picking pattern one three four two one three four two so Do the chorus. One, two, one, two, ready. I delete. on the music it does not say to do it twice i'm just doing it twice for um practice okay wigs coming off ah, thank you um so i put the wig on anytime someone makes a donation ready for the uh picking pattern the, the picking pattern is a challenge but not the chords yeah i'm gonna try and choose songs that have a challenge like just one challenge you know either the chords are challenging or either the strumming is challenging and uh thank you florida yuke Okay, so let's try the chorus again. I'm gonna do the picking this time for my pickers to see, okay? Here we go. One, two, ready. Let it be, let it be. to this pattern. Um, you don't understand uh, the picking pattern. Okay, so look up real quick. I'm putting thumb on G string, index on C, middle on E, ring on A. Now, if I assign numbers to my fingers, one, two, three, four. So the picking pattern that I'm doing is a one, three, four at the same time. Thank you, Olivia. One, three, four, and then two. One, three, four, two. One, three, four, two. One, three, four, two. One, three, four, two. And Steve here is sharing the history of this song. Thank you, Steve. And I'm just doing that in double time. Bum, 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 bum. Okay? That's the picking pattern that you can use throughout the song. The easier option would be to do this little strumming pattern. Down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. You got a new chord, F6. Yeah, that's a fun one. And if you need an easier strum than that, just give me down, 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 okay? So it's I've gotta go. Okay, well, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, there is one day this week that I cannot do the live stream and it's for my grandmother's funeral. Um, it's April 2nd or 3rd. I'll announce it the day before, okay? Wait, oh, today's April 1st. Shoot. Oh, oh it might be tomorrow. Okay, I, I should have checked that. I'm so sorry I didn't check that. I'll let you know. Um, where, where, how can I let you know? I'll do a YouTube story. You know, those little, like if you go to my channel, you can see an update. I'll update you guys there, okay? Okay, so let's do the chorus one time and then go right into the verse, okay? One, two, ready. Let it be, let it be.
play this pattern three times. So it's two beats on F, two beats on C, one, one, and let me see the last scene. on that one okay thank you for all the thumbs up really appreciate it thank you i think we can get to 100 here we go one two the transition one two ready go organ or something going like this. Something like that. There's a little pattern there going on in the organ. So let's try that three times. One, two, ready, go. And then again, one, two, guitar solo that happens over this sequence. So let's play the sequence. One, two, ready, go. And then we're going into the chorus. Now, I um, gave you guys a link to the principle. Um, let's review what we did yesterday. Karen said you did it. We're almost at 100. Nice job, we're at 96. So let's go to that principle and, um, and review some of our songs that we've done already. Uh, 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 um, uh, 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 um, let me see. getting the principal. Bill, thank you! Bill, I always wonder if you're here. You're so quiet and then boom, you come at me with a tip. Can you do 
the G and Ador Kondo. What is that? Okay. Woohoo! That one's a fun one. And I was really feeling it today. I was feeling a little bit. Oh, thank you, Mary. Thanks for the lesson. Be blessed with health to you and yours. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Mary. So appreciate your tips. That is so sweet. Okay, um, let's do, ah, zombie, zombie. Zombie is E minor, C, G, D. Gotta play, not talk. <laughs> That's true. Okay, um, hopefully you guys have everything that we had here on the board. If you did not, that's okay because I'm gonna make a principle. The principle I made um, has a mistake on three little birds. I think I wrote a G chord instead of D chord. My brain was still in baritone ukulele, so I'll fix that for you guys. I'm really sorry about that. But the other ones I think are correct. <laughs> and sometimes this happens, you know? Mistakes happen. It's okay. Um... Oh, can I do G in a different color? Got it. Um, okay, so we have E minor, C, G, and D. We're reviewing zombie. And we're gonna review the other ones on the printable as well. And that's just because review just helps retain the information. It's just the way our brain works. And the cool thing is that the more you review, the more likely you are to memorize it. And once you memorize a song is when you can really start playing with um, style choices. And the strumming pattern was the tricky one. That's why I like coming back to this one. Down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Up, down, up. Or you can do two island strums. Down, down, up. Up, down, up. So you choose your strum. Woo! <laughs> Caught it by accident. Oh no! Okay. Let me move the plant back a little bit. Let me see. Will you stay? Stay. There we go. <laughs> oh, thank you. Who was that? Who was that? I missed it. I missed it. Andrea, thank you so much. So appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, E minor C, G, D. Listen to the strumming pattern because this looks kind of confusing, but if you listen to it, it makes sense. Let me turn off a of reverb a little bit. lockdown like you guys have made me feel so much better with okay I turned off the reverb thank you for letting me know uh, Florida I don't know if I'm back tomorrow I know my grandmother's funeral is either tomorrow or Friday so if it's not uh, if my grandmother's funeral is tomorrow I will upload a video instead if there's no video upload then we will be here um, so, but I'm pretty sure it's tomorrow. Okay, so let's try it. One, two, ready, go E minor.
all, index 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 all,
Lovers of dissonance. Yes. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Island strum. I just want to take a second to breathe. And thank you all for being here. Um, if you are on lockdown, if you have lost your job, if someone in your family has lost your job, I mean, this, this is incredible the times we're living in. And I love that even though we're going through something so trying and so difficult, um, we are meeting every day to improve ourselves, to work on something. And I really love this classroom community. I love everyone who's watching. I love everyone who's commenting, everyone who's leaving a tip. And then so many people are watching the replay because these videos have gotten on average 3,000 views, three to 4,000 views. So the people who are not awake who are watching this on the replay, I love you too for doing this. And um, I would like to keep going until, actually I would like to keep this going to have daily live streams. Um, this is like really fun and I love it. So yeah. And everybody let's put celebratory emojis in the chat because today is Carrie's birthday. Unicorns rock. She's the one that has the little gear. Um, Carrie, happy birthday. We love you so much. You're so sassy and I would not change that at all. Okay, so F to G. Let's do that as an intro. That is four times for the intro and it's we keep going for the verse. One, two, one, two, one, two. Ready, go. G, F, G, F, G, F. Hi, Mario.
for the fifth fret and pinky on the eighth. I wonder what la bamba sounds like in the uke or una duranguese. Um, la bamba is C. Thank you, Ben. Okay, what other song do we have in our principal? Okay, uh, turn two, three little birds, and I made a mistake on the chord chart for D. So once we close up this live, I'm gonna go back and fix it. So please be careful with that D chord. And thank you for the tips that have been coming in. I put on the wig anytime a new one comes in. So thank you guys. And as long as we have the tips up top, I wear the wig. Okay, so let's uh, review Three Little Birds. That one we need A, D, and E. Bye Bethany, thank you so much for hanging out. A, D, and E. And I'll write down the little sequence for us. A, D, and E. And we had uh, learned some advanced versions yesterday. So if you have your advanced versions in your journal already, go ahead and pull those out. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to watch yesterday's live, which was really, really good. Um, it just felt like such a good lesson. But I'll put the easy ones here now. Don't worry about a thing. Okay, so it's A is four times, D is two times. I mean, everything's gonna be alright. And don't worry. Okay. Um, about a thing. Because every little thing's gonna be alright. So that's chorus, and then the next part. Okay, how many times were the Rise Up This Morning section? Rise Up This Morning, it's two times. Two times, two times, two times. I think it's two times everything. Okay. So we have those two sections. Thank you. Okay. Um, we have those two sections. A, D, A is uh, the beginning. And then this is the next part. And uh, a lot of you were here yesterday. When are you planning to do a live again? We're doing these daily, but tomorrow I have a family thing. So um, probably not tomorrow, but other than that, daily. I received $10 from Mary on my email. Mary, if you're here, thank you so much. I don't know if you're here. Mary, comment in the chat if you're here. Okay, uh, let's do just an A. Would you like me to review the reggae strum or do you have it? Like were you all here yesterday or can we review? Let me know in the comments what you prefer because I am happy to review if you want to. I'm happy to just run through it if you just want to run through it. Let me know what you would like. Yes, yes what? Yes please, review. Okay, so Rest your hand on the fingerboard gently, almost like a sleepy hand or like a feather. You never mastered it yesterday. Okay, Erin, thank you for being honest and letting me know. So give me one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. No, 
No, you're gonna squeeze down on the A one and two and three and four and two and three and four and hi hi and three and four and you wanna hear some effects? Okay, one and two and three and four. Oh, that delay is really really delayed though. Let me see if I can. are doing um, Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. So we went from doing one and two and three and four and to doing a bit of a swing. One and two and three and four and one and two. Oh, thank you. Mary sent a PayPal tip. Thank you. I got it right now. Thank you. It's wig time. One and two and three and four. And thank you, Ben. And two and four do not have a mute. Everything else we mute. Alrighty. Thank you, Mary, for the tip. <laughs> I'm gonna be a weird old lady. Alrighty, here we go. One and two and three and four and hi Teresa. we go to D chord. Now, I think it's easier to do a barred chord. D, you can do this one. Look up real quick. Second fret is barred and pinky on the fifth. Hot. You like it? Back to A. Bye. We did D this way, look up. We did D on frets two and five. Well, if you go to frets four and seven, that's an E chord. And it's so cool because you relax for most of it. You're only squeezing a little bit. One and squeeze and one and squeeze. I should come to your lives more and I have been subscribed a long time and I haven't come to your lives as much, definitely. Thank you for the tip. That's an E. Four and seven is an E. Bar four, pinky on seven. And two and five, Celestia high is a D. So I recommend you guys do those because they're like super easy to mute. Um, let me write the charts for you up here. So when muting D and E, the barring finger does the muting. Exactly, Erin, that's exactly right. Oh, hi, man, leaving a cake for Carrie. If you just tuned in, it is Carrie's birthday. Carrie is the unicorn's rock. And she's a wonderful music educator that I absolutely love with my whole heart. And I'm so excited that we're going to meet this year. We've been like texting friends forever. Over a year now, huh? So which 
I said it was fret two and then fret four. This is D and this is E. Sorry guys, I'm running out of space, but it's the same shape. Um, two, fret two and five and fret four and seven. And you're exactly right, Erin. You said it better than I have said it, thank you. When you're doing these bar chords, the, the bar finger does the mute. That's what makes it so easy. So um, let's try to do a playthrough of the song. If you have the print a printable, it's free for everyone who's doing these live streams. Um, check it out in the link down below the video. Um, I did make a mistake on the D chord chart. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna fix it. So recheck it once, like in an hour, once this is over and I've gone back and edited and then I'll add today's song, let, let it be. Okay, so let's do the intro and then that first part. Okay, the intro is just A's. So give me A's. One, two, and three, and four. Okay, join me. Jump in, like jump rope. out here a little while so that you guys can jump in, okay? You got this. Breathe through it. Relax the shoulders. Roll the shoulders back. Somebody just asked, where's Paul McCartney? I uh, started with Beatles. The first 40 minutes were Beatles. Now somebody asked for an advanced or bar chord um, A. So let me write that up here. This is if you'd like an advanced bar chord A. Now I'm also going to do the song faster right now for my advanced because I know that you guys are here. You guys are just really quiet. Um, hold on, let me add the fret number because I need to check. This is on fret four. That's the advanced A. And thank you everyone for giving a video thumbs up. Thank you Carrie for reminding everyone. I think we're gonna get to 150, so yay! Alrighty. Um, I'm a dork. I thought I was watching a replay. No, Cherry, we're doing this live. Okay, so if you want to do an advanced A. So now I'm going to do it faster for my uh, advanced crew. If you're a beginner and it's way too fast, then what I recommend is just uh, try to play along with us and definitely try to land all the A's. 
But don't get frustrated and let go because sometimes when we grow the most is when we play with people who are more advanced than us. Actually, that tends to happen most of the time. Like, I know I've gotten better as a musician when I play with musicians that are way outside of like my ability level. Uh, I like your ukulele. Where'd you get it? This is uh, from Lava U. Um, I'll link it down below once uh, this video is, uh, sorry, once this video is uploaded. So um, come back and I'll have the link down below. What country do you live in? I live in America. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, two, A's, go. of what you can work this song up to. It's really fun that it just has those three chords, but it has a lot of fun things going on. And now to close off the live, let's go to um, a House of Gold. And give this video a thumbs up so that we get up to uh, 150 likes. I have a question. I'm experimenting with chord progression F, G, F, G7 FC, but I don't know where to go next. Any ideas? G7 FC, I would try throwing in an F minor and then FC. I don't know if it'll flow well with that G7, but I love the chord progression, like F minor FC. It feels really good to me. It's like yummy. Uh, House of Gold, please. And I'll write the chord progression up here, but if you get the principle, it's down below. The Beatles Revolution. So Big Bad John, uh, we started off the first 40 minutes with Beatles. So when I re-upload this, you can watch and you can see all the Beatles stuff. Okay, so the beginning is just all C and then the next part is C, F, A minor, G, C, F, C, G, C. And then the bridge is F, A7, D minor, B flat minor, which you should know by now, and F. But I'm still adding the chord chart for B flat minor because I know we have newbies every single day. And I know review is good. And then C, F, So this is the beginning, this is the chorus, and this is the bridge. You like my Beatles Imagine? Thank you. Okay, so pick up C, mute the other strings, 
So that all we hear is this and this. And we're doing down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Thank you everyone who gave a tip through the chats and through PayPal, really appreciate it. Um, the printable link will be down below. We already have a few songs there. I made a mistake on Three Little Birds, I'm gonna fix it. The lyrics and everything are fine, it's just the chord chart I messed up on. And then I'm gonna add Let It Be Today. So thank you, Julissa. So I'm gonna add Let It Be Today. I'm gonna sit on my computer and take care of that. And then I'm pretty sure tomorrow I can't do this, so I'm really sorry, but, um, oh Rita, it's okay, thank you, you're, you're good. Can you show that chuck strum? Of course, I'll show the chuck strum. If anyone needs to go, I understand though. I'm just gonna show what I was doing right now. But yeah, thank you for all the thumbs up. Ooh, 162, guys! Our record was, what was it, 185? So we haven't broke our record yet, but we're getting pretty close. Love learning from you. Thank you. How do I say your name? Kayal? Kayal? How do I say that? Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. That is my pattern. And these are down on the down direction as well. These chucks. Um, my play style improved a lot by your videos. Looking forward to more. Thank you, David. So I'm going to do that on a C down and then a downwards direction chuck. Down, chuck. If you can master this, that's like the meat of the strum. Down, chuck. Down, chuck. And the chuck really is just a rotation and a mute. Rotate, mute, rotate, mute, rotate, mute. So down, chuck, up, up, chuck, down, chuck, up, up, chuck. If you're trying it right now, can you tell me what part gets you stuck? 
what part makes it tough? What, what can I explain better to help you master that? Because I really want to help you guys master the chuck. Down, chuck. Hi, Eric. Up, up, chuck. Up. Guys, we're almost at 170 likes. My knowledge of South America is the best. Go. time for me when you come up do you come up with your uh, thumb I come up oh C major 7 can we see up close yes I'm using my index finger down chuck up up chuck the chuck is like this Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. And the chuck is just boom. Like this slap. Julissa, what are you looking for in a ukulele? 173 likes. Oh my God, you guys. We're like 12 likes away from our record. This is the chuck. Boom. Rotate. And, and I bring the strings up to the fretboard. And I just do it really fast. This is the um, Lava You ukulele, and it has a button here. Thank you, Bill. And it has effects. So right now I have some effects turned on. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. have that has a good sound and is comfortable to hold and anyone who's just showed up we're doing um down a uh, chuck pattern down, and yeah what's your price range good question Aaron. and i'm playing a c hi miss me i'm going to watch this live offline but i wanted to wish you good luck and a lot of fun thank you so much you're always giving tips thank you and this is both for DMG and for Bill, who just gave a tip. Thank you guys. Let me brush this a little bit because it was getting a little wild, a little crazy. Love your ukulele. Thank you. I love it too. 50 to $100. Julissa, um, I recommend the Enya 25D. I used it on one of the live streams. It was the blue one, but it also comes in brown. So if you go to the live streams, if you go to my channel and videos, you can see it on the live streams. And yeah, makes nice ukuleles for a decent price. Thank you guys for the tips. It's always been my dream to have pink hair, but I would, I'm too scared to like actually dye it. So this is as close as I get. So I'm doing C major seven, which is on the second fret. If uh, we get it through Amazon to your links, do you get a cut? Um, Amazon does pay me for sending you, and it doesn't matter what you buy. Amazon uh, gives me a commission, but nothing costs extra to you. So it's just like a little thank you they send me for sending you guys to them. But the brand, um, it doesn't affect the brand. Thank you, Eric. Let's go to F major seven. That's the two fingers on the fifth fret of G and C. likes we broke a record you guys we 
Wait, no, we're one like away from breaking a record. Oh, I almost did a dance. The Sakura Lele from Flight is one of your favorites. I'm gonna use that one for one of our lives. Did we do it? Did we do it? Did we break the record? Did we? Is it 190 now? part of imagine okay if you want to do imagine again wait oh we haven't done imagine um did we do imagine let me get it let me go to imagine i know what you're talking about okay so imagine by john lennon okay so on your a string Pick open, pick first fret, and second fret. Thank you, James, for the PayPal tip. I appreciate it. And the chords there are C three times. One, two, three, C major seven, my favorite, and then F. And then the picking pattern. C, 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 C major 7, F, pick it. Okay, let me write those down here. Yeah? Do you guys want to do imagine tomorrow? Well, not tomorrow, I can't come tomorrow. Do you want to do imagine next? We can do an imagine workshop. Actually, let me know what you want to do tomorrow or the next time. Sorry, next time, next time. Okay, and um, C, 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 C major 7, F, 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 and then 0, 1, 2. Yeah. That's the little Imagine intro. Now, because it's on piano, and I think it sounds something like this. You have that bum, 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 bum. What we can do with our ukulele is to buy, pick. G, E, and A strings, and then the C string. Bye. So it's one and two and three and, and then C major seven, and then F. One and two and three and, pick, pick, pick.
back to this. Like, I know we already broke our record, but we're so close that it'd be crazy, crazy to do it. Yeah, I need to go good night, everyone in Europe, and have a fantastic day in America. Bye, Hans. Thank you. So, uh, good question. Thank you uh, for a uh, pick up close during C. words we passed 200 likes <laughs> oh my god thank you guys we are such an active classroom can we just stop and like appreciate that we have 200 people come in to this classroom jam with us or listen to the music even if they're gone you know coming in and out like what so um we're at about 98 minutes right now so just to like close it off we'll close it off at the 100 minute mark just because this is so awesome thank you guys i was feeling really bummed before this live i try not to like let my emotions like affect the lesson like i want to be in good spirits always and uh just to think that you guys came and played with me and asked questions and we played together and that like you sang and we worked on so many things. It feels really good. Like it feels amazing. So thank you. No, you're the sweetest. Okay. So um, yes, I believe tomorrow is my grandmother's funeral. So if I'm not here, I'll upload like a different type of video. Thank you. You guys really did make me feel a lot better. I was feeling really scared today. Um, Margarita for professor. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if it's the funeral tomorrow, then I'll upload like a regular video. If it's not, then I'll be here. And, uh, but I'm pretty sure it is. So yeah, we have a video that's kind of difficult. I did it with this ukulele. Um, it's the Beatles. <laughs> So try that one that's a really good one to work on and then go back and watch these lives because there's like really good information in them uh, for learning and then come back to pick up the principle once I'm done when you pluck the are you plucking the a string um, when I pluck the what this like the imagine I'm picking G E G E A G E A and then C a C G E A C and then for this little lick zero one two a hundred hugs take care can't wait till your next life <laughs> and this is on A string yay someone just joined Patreon and on A string yay Karen got it awesome awesome good question I should have written that down. Thank you for asking. Yes, this little lick is on A string. Tell me good Beatles music for starters. For starters, Love Me Do is a good one. Um, let me pull it up here. Um, <laughs> Love Me Do is G, C, and D. <laughs> Not at the right. 
right range for my singing, but it goes like. month for America, for lots of parts of the world. Some of you guys are in the peak of this thing. So um, the goal is, when will we do La Vie en Rose? Let's do La Vie en Rose on the next one. Thank you for bringing that up, Erin. Oh no, I'm late. <laughs> it's okay, you can watch the replay. The replay is going to be here. I'm so proud of my teacher who's singing now in her videos. Thank you, Cherry. Um, let's do La Vie en Rose next. Uh, I'll upload the the lyrics ahead of time so that you guys have them when we do our live. 2.13, yay! Um, you should try dyeing your hair dark blue. I think it'd look amazing on you. I would love to do colored hair, but I'm just scared of the damage. That's what freaks me out. Gotta go back to quarantine. Thank you very much and see you. Yeah, I'm gonna start packing because I'm, I'm gonna move with my parents to quarantine with them. You, Tyler, and John are all increasing your game with your vocals. Thank you. Yeah, we are. We're working on it. By this time next year, we'll all be doing like trios and stuff. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for the crazy amount of likes. We hit, what is it, 212 to 15? I'm gonna write down. 212, I think that's what I see. 212. Do you guys see differently? Um, bye from Scotland. Bye from California. Um, thank you. This is a crazy record to beat. <laughs> I made your day. Thank you. You guys made my day. Um, I, you see 213? Okay. I see, I see it went. Okay, I see 213 now. Thank you. When are you going to do the Disney song? So let's do La Vie and Rose, and then let's do Disney Day after that. Um, so tomorrow I'm gonna just upload a video and then we'll do Love You and Rose the next day and then we'll do Disney and uh, We're gonna be in quarantine and lockdown a long time f At least in America for the next like At least month or two. So my goal is to continue doing these daily um, Will you consider some chord melody arrangements for you solo you if you go to my um, 30 day you course there's a chord melody video there. My girlfriend is learning Lion Sleeps tonight and is excited to try that one. Yeah, that's C F C G, right? a little picking pattern that'll be fun alrighty guys take care of yourselves Carrie happy birthday Van thank you for helping moderate we have the moderators who help keep the chat safe and um, my Apple watch is telling me to stand up <laughs> thank you for the moderators keeping the chat safe and friendly for sharing links for reminding everyone to hit the thumbs up that tells YouTube to recommend these videos to more people happy birthday um, take care everyone. I hope you have a wonderful birthday uh, Miss Carrie and the other person who just said it's a birthday You're out of school until May 1st. Yeah, some states I think have released that it's indefinite um, I'm just thinking about like Kindergarten teachers and kindergarten students who didn't gain all those life skills that are so important for the school and I don't know and then 
seniors not having so many events of course like the in the grand scheme of things we're doing everything we can to protect everyone but i just think about those things you know we we take for granted so it's important to stay grateful for the things we have and uh stay grateful for ukulele and for music and for each other could you do a taylor swift song sure why not we can do that we're gonna be here a while so yeah it won't be forever yeah that's true everybody stay safe um wash your hands if you can uh wear face masks you can wear face masks, stay away from your elderly loved ones and elderly people, keep them safe, keep yourself safe, and uh, we'll be in touch. Watch the other replays if you need to do some catching up because there's some really good stuff in there. And I'll see you in the next one. Sayonara, love you. Ciao!